Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video I am very happy to show you the new Build-A-Figure Dormammu from the Doctor Strange wave of Marvel Legends. You guys know if you saw my top 10 Hasbro Marvel Legends video or if you saw my review of the San Diego Comic-Con Dormammu that he is one of my favorite Marvel Legends figures, at least the other one was. I was kind of worried that this one might not live up to the reputation and I have to say I think I like it better. I'm not crazy about the neon green skulls, but the figure itself is, it's basically everything I want out of a Build-A-Figure other than the towering size of the old Toy Biz and even early Hasbro Build-A-Figure. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. This Dormammu Build-A-Figure stands, if you count the fire, about 9 inches tall, give or take, and that makes him about... Just shy of 23 centimeters, so he does have some size. He's not a pipsqueak. He's just not one of those giant Build-A-Figures that we would all love to see happen again. But that's not a bad thing, because this is Dormammu. It's well suited as a Build-A-Figure, and it is well executed for the most part. Uh, I'm very happy with the overall aesthetic of the figure. They did a good job between the painting and the molding. I'm very happy with that. The metallic purple throughout the figure is very vibrant. Sometimes you get these purples that are kind of dull, which is almost happening here on this skirt area, but it's not too bad. Uh, but the rest of it's a very vibrant. I'm very happy about it. Uh, a lot of saturation. Same thing with the reds. Uh, very, very red for the torso and for this thing. Not quite as dull as the cape, but that's okay. We have some variation in the colors. That's a good thing. Same thing with the back here. It's a little bit more of a dull purple. That's okay. The belt area is painted black. Could be better. You can see right here that there's a little bit of red coming across on the black. That's really the only major issue with the colors and the paint, so I can live with that. They did paint the red nubbins on there, so that's a good thing. Uh, you can see the boots are molded in, in black, so that gives him a little bit more variation. We have the gloss black painted up here for his cowl collar thing, which is very nicely done. And then the face and head. The paint for the face is very well executed, especially for a Marvel Legends figure. We don't often see the uh, faces that are painted very well. And this is, especially with the clean lines, and it just looks very nice. And I know people are going to say, the, the fire doesn't look right, it's too red at the bottom and too yellow at the top, it should be the other way. It, yeah, maybe, but it still looks cool and it, it's not real fire. So I'm going to let it slide on this figure. Yes, it could be better, but it still looks really good, so it gets a pass. I, I think it looks pretty good. Before we get into the articulation, let's talk accessories, which is unusual for a Build-A-Figure, but we do get two. They are the two neon green and blue Ghost Rider skulls. Uh, you guys can answer this for me because I didn't bother to look it up because it doesn't really matter, but is he supposed to have green and blue hand skulls? His, I'm guessing there's some kind of projectile maybe? I don't know. Is he supposed to have green and blue even though he's got orange fire? Is that a thing? Uh, if it's not a thing, it's very weird. If it is a thing, it's still very weird. Uh, but that said, they are well executed. They're very neon green and very blue, and they are translucent and look cool. They just don't really match the figure aesthetically, but again, that's not a criticism. Unless they're not supposed to be that color, and then it is. Now, as far as the articulation goes, this guy has... Can I pop the head off? I thought I could. I guess I can't. There's a hinge in there for the head. And it's on a ball peg. That's why I thought maybe it, it can. It's just not really meant to. But it moves around pretty well. You can lean it a little bit side to side. Doesn't look up too far. It looks down pretty well. And then, of course, the full rotation. The collar doesn't really get in the way, so that's a good thing. This is a floating piece, too, so it will play some if you need to move it for, like, the shoulders. Because we do have the full ball hinge, you can bring it around pretty far, but it will pull the chest armor out of the way. So that's either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you prefer. Goes around pretty far to the back if you need it to. If you need to bring the arms up to the side, no problem at all. That's a good thing. Bicep swivel works just fine. Elbow hinge, not quite 90 degrees, but probably good enough for a bigger figure. I'm okay with it. For the wrists, we have a hinge and a swivel, so that's good. The ab crunch on this guy goes pretty far forward. Just one click, but decent range. Almost 45 degree bend. Uh, even farther backwards, and it's sculpted well until you get in here. This isn't great, but it's not terrible. It's not super floppy, so that's a good thing. It's maybe a little bit looser than it needs to be, but not a problem. We have a waist twist, which works just fine. Underneath the skirt, we have ball hinge hips. I'm pretty sure these are the same hips as um, 
what's his name? Absorbing Man. Same hips as Absorbing Man, and they're not great. They are very sticky. They don't really want to go anywhere. The legs move together, and they don't want to move out to the side. Luckily, the skirt is such that it doesn't allow the articulation anyways. And that's halfway sarcastic, because we don't want the articulation to be limited, uh, however it is. Uh, but it's Dormammu, so he doesn't need to be doing kicks or anything, so that's not a terrible situation. It just doesn't work well. So if you're okay with that, then that's up to you. Me, I'm okay with it just because Dormammu doesn't need the range. It is disappointing that it doesn't function properly, though. Uh, so they do technically have the full ball hinge with the thigh swivel. We have the double jointed knee. Again, you're not really going to make much use of that, but it is in there and it works fine. We have a shin swivel, so that's in there. And the boot things are technically separate. Some people have to will have to rotate them around to line them up properly. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but... They are separate pieces, so you can do that. And then for the ankles, they have the hinge in there like most Marvel Legends do. They don't go very far forward, so just be careful when you're posing him. He tends to lean backward. They do go pretty far back, and they do have an ankle rocker in there. So it's, it's a pretty solid figure. It's not perfect, but it's so aesthetically pleasing with the saturation of the purple up against the orange with the red and, and metallic and clear. And then if you want to throw on those creepy crawler looking Ghost Rider skulls, you can do that. If you don't know, know what creepy crawlers are, then uh, Google it. But it looks just like old time creepy crawlers from when I was a kid. If you guys are my age, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I recommend it for sure. This build of figure is awesome. I like it a whole bunch. It's not perfect, but it's a lot of fun. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, obviously. Movies, TV shows, video games, unboxings, live streams, all kinds of fun stuff. So, make sure you come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.